Hello and welcome to Blocks Master. Today I'm going to share with you a simple tutorial showing how to create a navigation like this. When you have the links, social icons, buttons, or whatever you put there, and uh, they are all visible on desktop mode, but when you switch to the tablet or mobile, these are becoming the part of site a menu, sidebar menu, or maybe like in this case, drop down menu. Well, in other case, uh, these are not visible when we have the mobile device in our hands. So if you know, if, as you might know, if we go to blogs and well, let's create a simple project here. So we have some kind of design to work this. Sometimes we want to use the different type of navigation, these social icons and some other content. And as you know, in blocks, if we select the nav bar, we have this include content area. So if we enable it, we can place, for example, follow links brick here, which will allow us to bring the social icons like that. So let's make them bigger. We can build something like that. And then when we go to preview mode, you can see that these links stick around even if we go to mobile devices. So some of the users, I think on YouTube actually, asked me how I achieve what I have here when we have the links which are going under the menu, under the hamburger menu on mobile devices. So this is what I'm going to show you now. Okay, so let's go back to edit mode. And first of all, I will select the nav bar and disable the content area. This is not what I want to use for that. I want to place all the content inside this list. And of course we can't do that if we are using the primary menu. Let's switch to none, which is basically the manual menu. And we can type the number of items here, make it three, or we can basically select the list link and use command D to duplicate it and then command delete to delete it. Same story, you will get this empty box for any content you want to place there. So let's place here the follow links like that. Let's make sure that they are a little bit bigger, spaced right. So of course we need to adjust the alignment a little bit and margin. To do that, I will just quickly add the elder social, whatever, the new class. And inside this class, we are in the large breakpoint at the moment. I will add a bit of margin to this side, for example. And well, it looks like maybe I need to add a little bit of margin on top. Well, maybe not. Maybe it's fine as it is. So yeah, and it is, we, we only added the margin on the left. It looks nice. So let's go to preview mode and see how it looks. So when we go to smaller breakpoints, you can see that now this thing switched to the mobile device view. So that's very easy, but let's actually a little bit improve our navigation as well. I will quickly add the Eldarnav class, add it to two links and I will align them to the center like that. Now, when we go to preview, and we switch to this mode, you can see that we get the links on and in the middle, which looks much better. We still have some margin on the left, as you can see, because these icons are a bit more to the right than left, so it's not perfect. And this is why this class has the margin on the left applied, right? And we need this for two breakpoints. We have uh, the icons visible, but for these two breakpoints, even though we don't see it at the moment, we know that we have selected this class. We can go to the left margin and just replace the 22 pixels we applied for larger breakpoints. We can replace it with zero. Now, that's not all. If we go to preview, you can see that now it is at the center, in the middle, perfect but it is too close to the second link. So what we need to do next is, of course, once again, 
apply the margin to the top of this elder social whatever i type there link so let's say 20 pixels 20 pixels and here we don't have it because we applied it when we were in small breakpoint so we only have the left margin right now but when we switch to the mobile view you can see that now we have these links spaced right from the second link and they look perfectly aligned to the center and even though if we decide to for example change the style for this menu to let's say sidebar let's go to mobile view and click this you can see that this works very well here as well we have the links aligned to the center we have all the spacing and we have the icons here and of course we can place anything we want there just uh, create the another empty box here place here whatever you want button or maybe something else and it will be shown inside the mobile menu so that's it for today's tutorial if you have any questions or need help with anything as always leave them in the comments below or contact me by email and i will do my best to help you thank you for watching and i will talk to you in the next tutorial